So, a defender, a winger, and a striker walk into West Ham. No, this isn't the start of a joke, it's the potential look of our new squad. In the next few minutes, we're going to break down why West Ham's triple signing spree is more than just transfer news. We'll look at the masterminds behind it, the strategy that's changing, and how this can transform our entire squad. Stick around, because this is huge. Remember when we started the transfer window with a bang? Max Kilman and Luis Gilhermi had us all buzzing, but then, silence. Weeks of nothing. We all felt it, right? That frustration, wondering if anything was happening behind the scenes or if it was just endless rumors that led nowhere. Well, turns out there was. Enter Julian Lopetegui and Tim Stiton, our new dynamic duo. These guys have been working overtime, even claiming themselves that they see each other more than their own families, and now we're seeing the results. Three signings in 24 hours. That's not just transfer activity, that's transfer madness. But here's the thing, this isn't just about getting new players, it's about a whole new strategy for West Ham. And trust me, if this plays out like we think it will, our squad could look very different very soon. Ready to see what's coming? Let's dive in. So, I've already mentioned our family neglecting dynamic duo, the masterminds behind all this transfer madness. Their relentless dedication and close collaboration is finally starting to pay off. Lopetegui and Steiten have been in constant communication, talking daily about transfer strategies and player profiles. This isn't your typical manager-director relationship. It's a partnership that's reshaping how West Ham approaches the transfer market. Lopetegui's vision for the team? It's all about being proactive. He's not just looking for players, he's looking for young, versatile talents who can adapt to multiple positions. Gone are the days of the old West Ham scattergun approach. Now, it's all about building a squad that can change its playing style based on the opponent. But here's where it gets interesting. At first glance, this transfer window looked like more of the same old scattergun tactics. Rumors flying left and right links to every player under the sun. But that was all smoke and mirrors, folks. Lopetegui and Steiten were playing a clever game of chess while we thought they were playing checkers. Take the Aaron one bissaka saga, for example. West Ham wanted him, but Manchester United said our offer was too low. So what did we do? We turned our attention to their right-back target, Nusser Mazraoui. Suddenly, United was scrambling, pursuing Mazraoui harder. And guess what? Now one bissaka might be available for the price we initially offered. That's not luck, that's strategy. And it's not just about individual players. Lopetegui's emphasizing the need for a balanced squad. He wants to integrate youth while ensuring experienced players are there to guide them. It's a long-term vision, folks. We're not just building a team for next season. We're building a foundation for years to come. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds great, but where are the actual signings? Well, hold on to your seats because we're about to see the fruits of their labor. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the brink of seeing free signings in 24 hours. But here's the kicker, these aren't panic buys. Each player has been carefully selected to fit into Lopetegui's vision. We're looking at signings that could transform our entire squad, changing how we play and compete in the Premier League. So let's take a closer look at the current transfer madness and break down the ensuing triple threat that's about to shake up our squad. First up, we've got Aaron wan -Bissaka. Remember that clever chess move we mentioned earlier? Well, checkmate. This elite tackler is set to bolster our right flank. Imagine Imagine him partnering with Jared Bowen. It's like adding a force field to our defense while unleashing Bowen's attacking prowess. Juan Bissaka's one-on-one -on -one defending skills are exactly what Lopetegui's been looking for to shore up our backline. But wait, there's more. Enter Crescencio Somerville, the 22-year-old speedster from Leeds. This lad's not just quick, he's lightning in boots. Somerville's pace and creativity fit perfectly into Lopetegui's vision of a dynamic, adaptable attack. And to complete our transfer trifecta, we've got Niklas Fulkrug. This 31-year-old striker from Borussia Dortmund brings a wealth of experience to our front line. He's not just a goal scorer, he's a link-up play maestro. Fulkrug's recent performances for Germany in Euro 2024 show he's still got plenty in the tank. His physical presence could be the key to unlocking our winger's potential. Now, let's talk strategy. This isn't just about bringing in new faces, it's about transforming how we play. Think of our squad like a puzzle. One Bissaka is the cornerstone, providing a solid foundation. Somerville's the wild card, adding unpredictability to our attacks. And Fulkrug? He's the glue that holds it all together, linking defense to attack. But here's the real genius of this triple signing. It's a perfect blend of youth and experience. Somerville brings that raw talent and potential for growth. One Bissaka is in his prime, ready to make an immediate impact. And Fulkrug offers that veteran presence, guiding our younger players. 
This balance is key to Lopetegui's long-term vision. We're not just building a team for next season, we're laying the groundwork for years to come. It's like we're planting a garden. Some plants will bloom right away, others will take time to grow, but together, they'll create something beautiful. So, we've seen the signings, but what does it all mean for West Ham? This isn't just a spending spree, it's a calculated transformation of our squad. Let's break it down. First off, forget the idea of panic buying. This triple signing is pure strategy. They've identified key areas for improvement and targeted players who fit the bill perfectly. But here's where it gets really interesting. Where does Jared Bowen and Mohamed Kudus fit into all this? If Paqueta is played in the number 10 role, with Somerville on the left wing and Fulkrug up top, that leaves only one space on the right wing for either Bowen or Kudus. And let's be honest, it's not like either one of them will be used as a sub. So, naturally, I am assuming Lopetegui must be envisioning a completely different setup. Imagine Paqueta sitting deeper, like he does for Brazil. That frees up space for Kudus as a number 10, with Bowen on the right and Somerville on the left. Suddenly, we've got a midfield that can control the game and an attack that can tear defences apart. The best thing about this all is that this isn't just about next season. This is about setting up West Ham for long-term success. These signings aren't just filling gaps, they're creating a squad with depth and versatility. We're not just preparing for the Premier League, we're building a team that can compete in Europe. That's the kind of ambition we've been crying out for. And let's talk about the excitement factor. Imagine the London Stadium when Somerville gets the ball and starts running at defenders. Picture the roar when Fulkrug wins that crucial header. Think about the chance for wan Bissaka after he pockets yet another winger. This isn't just about improving our team on paper. It's about changing how we play, how we compete, and how we're seen in the football world. We're not just making signings, we're making a statement. So, what's the big picture here? West Ham's not just buying players, we're building a whole new blueprint. Gone are the days of panic buys and last minute deals. Now, we've got a clear plan, targeting specific players who fit our vision. It's proactive, not reactive. This new approach could set the standard for years to come. Imagine future transfer windows where we're ahead of the game, not playing catch up. That's the West Ham we're building. And let's be real, on paper, this squad's looking top six material. We've got depth, we've got talent, we've got experience. The Premier League better watch out because West Ham's coming in hot. Thanks for watching. A lot of time and effort goes into making these type of videos. So if you're enjoying my content, please remember to like and subscribe. Till next time, Hammer Bites out.